Hello everybody, this is Michael from the Board Games Chronicle blog. I have a pleasure to invite you to the part 2 of the Lanzerath Ridge gameplay example. Uh, in the part 1 we successfully repealed the attack phase 1. It was mainly the straightforward uphill attack by the Germans. They were mainly ca coming from those directions and we'll be playing now through the attack phase 2. When I'm uh, Recording this, uh, the Kickstarter is, is getting closer and closer to us for this game, so I hope this movie and this presentation will be kind of inspiration and also motivation to you to back this project. I think the game is really, really worth it. The fourth installment in Val Valiant Defense series by David Thompson. Let us see how our defenders will, will do. Before starting, a couple of uh, rules when you change from one attack phase to the other. First of all, when you finish the attack phase, you decrease the morale, so one of the key elements in this game, uh, when it reaches zero you, you lose, you decrease it by, by one for each uh, disrupted defender. Uh, then you do the cleanup, you remove all disrupted tokens, you flip all defenders from their exhaust side, uh, you remove all the Germans from the map except for MGs, and uh, you leave defenders and weapons as they are. Then, when you prepare the next attack period, first of all you place those 10 German riflemen that way, as, as they are now. If fences were removed, in our case all three were removed, uh, you put them back. If grenades, or we call it booby traps, are removed, you do not bring them back. They are one times. Uh, then we load the guns. Yeah, you see all of them are loaded. Yeah, it's clearly visible. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to use this. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, we can choose whether we would like to flip each and every weapon uh, from the mounted to dismounted side. Uh, we can then uh, place the defenders as we want, w a couple of exceptions. Those three, Bulk, Ford and Springer, has to be in lock cabin. Second thing, you cannot place any of the defenders on those three special uh, areas. Yeah. That's, that's how it is. And of course you need uh, to obey to the uh, stacking restrictions, so maximum four defenders at one at one space. Okay, let's move further. A uh, couple of words of strategy. I put a very strong position here around Slape. Uh, he inspires those guys. That one will have assist special ability, so we'll be able to unexhaust one of, of those guys. Uh, we are prepared also for the attack here. We have, oh, sorry, uh, we have like three units here, and in case it is needed, we can always move move here. On the left, what we are we're going to do is to move this MG to this position, so we can fire here and here. Uh, other than that, we'll probably again use uh, radio, we'll try to, to bring some artillery, and so on and so forth. I think we are ready to start. So, now we have 27 cards. That means 9 turns. In case of uh, artillery, if we manage to use it like we used during the, the first period, uh, we probably decrease this number. Let's see what we got. Okay, I will place a rifleman. D6, it goes to the number 4, so it goes that way. You see, we don't have too many units here, but we have a really nice crossfire from the sides. Of course, with a penalty, but still pretty good. Now we place leader at 3. And this is not nice because uh, that allows them to move and push back this. Okay. It could be a problem because they are pretty close of entering this position. We still have a booby trap, so don't worry. And we roll once again for a rifleman. Four. 
so that rifleman goes into this direction. So uh, this should stand, of course, here. So we push those guys, and according to the Murphy's law, where we have the minimal forces, they all went <coughs> fine. Now, our turn. What we wanted to do, we wanted for sure to bring uh, this MG here. So this would be our first action, which will not exhaust us. We'll need to fire at those guys. This is a no-brainer. Let me just think with which weapon. We can use uh, this D10. I think we don't need to use the best uh, the best gun. So we use M1919. <coughs> it will be Milosevic who will be adjusting fire, so using MG, because a slave is here. He will be using um, the mm, uh, the bonus, yeah, for for him. So using two dice, but we'll always have minus one for uh, firing across the ridge. I will target first uh, this rifleman. Uh, he has the defense value of four plus one for crossing yeah, uh, this ridge. So this is five. We roll two die. D10. D10 is here. And uh, we need five or more. Yep, we got it. We spent an ammunition. He is down. Uh, we'll now fire once again. Mm -hmm. I think we'll fire here at this rifleman and then at this rifleman. We'll fire three more times. Okay. Uh, that one has three plus one and plus one because we are firing second time in this just fire, so defense five. Yep, just what we needed. And then the third fire at this guy three plus one for this barrier and plus two because we are firing for the third time. So this is in total six. Oh, yes, we managed to do. Okay, it was a very important uh, phase. Mm, uh, now we can think about moving some of the units. We'll move Springer towards artillery. We want to bring with artillery. We will move Bog here. We want him to be able to inspire those guys and just in case for later on to be able to unexhaust those guys. Uh, what shall we do with Ford? He can bring radio intelligence. Uh, the truth is, yeah, this is very good from the victory points perspective, but not necessarily uh, at this difficult time. I would prepare for the inevitable. I will fire with one more guy. I will fire with Khalil. He has d8, yeah. So he will fire with inspiration against this rifleman. So 2d8 and uh, hit is on 5 or more. D8s, we have them here. Uh, by the way, I think I was rolling with the wrong die here <coughs> because it was d8, not d10. Uh, never mind. Uh, this is a miss, unfortunately. This is a miss. Uh, we do we have any more action? No, we don't have. So let's reset them and let's see what the Germans will bring against us and whether we will survive. Okay, uh, the Germans are starting to move not frontally but from the flanks. Uh, one. Uh, where do we have one? One is exactly here. So this fire, which we planned, was a good idea. Uh, so we place a grenadier there. It was a good idea, which didn't work. Okay. The problem is, you see, only from this position do we have line of sight here. Let's see what the second card brings. A leader towards the position 2. Position 2 is here. So he pushes them forward. 
I never seen in this at least game in this uh, recording <coughs> for those fences to stop the Germans. I hope we finally will have such an occasion. And the six card. Okay, uh, SMG going also from the flank, so going here, pushing this forward. So things are getting nasty, slowly by steady. How shall we respond? Um, for sure we would like to go to the artillery. This is one of the things we need to do. This is long-term investment. Now, as for those guys, uh, we will use assist and assist uh, will allow us to unexhaust Khalil and unlike for example in Pavel's house or other games we can use him immediately uh, uh, this guy which is unexhausted so he will fire uh, re uh, towards 4 um, okay. Okay, or oh, let me see, this is to die, to d8 against him, the enemy. No, this is a really bad luck. He again missed, Se for the second time. Uh, in that case, uh, we need to be prepared for sh charge here. It's not a good situation which we have now here, yeah, definitely not. Uh, in the center we probably would like to take down one of those enemies. Let me use Krager. He will be inspired so rolling to die. This is defense 4. A moment ago it was also 4. Oh, you see, both hit. And we would like to take down also that guy. We'll use, uh, for example, McConnell. Yeah, let me use him. And he will roll to die and uh, defense 4. Yep, a hit is here. So we are very unlucky on this swing. A lot of misses. It could turn ugly, but let's see. A reset of the actions. And now we draw. Uh, place or activate A. Do we have A? No, we don't have A. Machine gun A. Then we have a rifleman. We roll one die. It goes to 4. So in the center, towards this, would be good to get rid of this leader too. Okay, and the last card is um, Grenadier. And we roll die. It's 4, I think. Yeah, 4. So they push again into this direction. Relentless. Okay, our turn. First of all, we'll start doing the uh, uh, radio artillery, so requesting some support. And now we have still uh, again uh, a lot of uh, enemies coming here. We could potentially use James to fire with M2. Uh, and on, uh, it is pretty stable on this uh, this wing. Yeah. So uh, first and foremost, uh, we need to think what to do with this exhausted guy. I will move Gatsky here because he would be able to unexhaust him then, and he will fire. Just in case, I am moving this guy here in case they will breach this perimeter. Uh, yes. Now, some fire here. I think James will have to fire with M2. M2 is a powerful gun, so hopefully we will do a lot of damage. We have a lot of M2 ammunition. We'll use at least two for two fires. 
Um, usually I'm using one ammunition per fire uh, with inspiration, these are two dice and that's usually completely enough and that's what we will do now. Uh, this is a really heavy gun, you roll a d12 and first and foremost uh, we'll not start with the easiest, uh, we'll start with uh, some more difficult. We start with this rifleman, um, defense 4 plus 1 5 and d12s are here. We need five or more. We got it. With the second fire, we target the leader. We use two ammunitions. Leader has a um, defense of three, plus one for barrier and plus one for the second uh, shot in this just fire. So five. Five defense. Yeah, we got it. Now, whoever to use the third ammunition. I think we will use third ammunition. Uh, now, firing here will not give us this penalty uh, for um, for the barrier. Firing here will still give, give us penalty. Uh, I was tempted to fire against this MG, but this is seven plus two because it's third uh, time we are shooting and plus one because of the barrier. Let me just fire here. Uh, this is five plus two seven. Kind of a pretty... Yeah, this is nine. This is... This was a good shooting. And we have another action done. Um, what else can we do? Um, I'm just checking this MG, it would be good to take those MGs down, but before this uh, we should emplace this gun and use the emplaced gun for such a fire. So one of the guys here, let's say Jenkins, emplaced it. Okay, so far so good. A reset of actions. I think I did one thing uh, wrongly and I will revert my action here. I don't want this inspiring guy going from here. We'll need him. Instead, I would rather move forward, for example, to guard the central position. And now the Germans, uh, still 18 cards, <sighs> a lot. What do we have here? <coughs> MG, activate A. So we have A. And he will be firing at one of those two positions. One three or four six. Let us roll. Three. So this would be the position one. Okay. It's much better. See, concentrating a lot of troops in one place can be also detrimental because when MG is firing, he can make a lot of damage. So Preston has a defense of three. We roll. One two saves him. But no, he got hit. Oh, so he's disrupted. Another card, and this time we have leader, place at four. So he, those guys all the time trying uphill. Okay, and I have leader here. Now, uh, one more card, and this is, oh my gosh, flanking attack here. And this is what type of unit? This is SMG, SMG. We need really to start attacking those guys and do it finally uh, with some efficiency. Ah, here is SMG. Okay, our faces. Uh, first of all, uh, we use uh, Gatsky. Uh, he uses his assist. So we have uh, Khalil flipped and he will immediately fire here uh, using Inspire. So 2d8 versus defense of 4. 2d8. Uh, we have d8s here. Oh, this time he managed to do it properly. Uh, we'll bring more artillery calling them. You see, you can roll 
whenever you want with those um, artillery request tokens but if you have to roll 5-6 at least 2 or 3 artillery uh, tokens are needed here yeah, to, be, to be sure that you can, you can do it properly uh, we'll use one of the actions to remove disruption recover and I think we were planning to adjust fire with Jenkins yeah Jenkins can adjust fire you see he has M denominator we'll adjust fire and I will try to take down those two MGs uh, this is D10 so quite quite good gun uh, this will be done with an uh, inspiration uh, okay so uh, we will use two ammunitions uh, uh, he can have only two ammunition and now uh, we will fire first at A and then uh, at this A yeah. and we roll two D10 Ah, here we are. Uh, here we will hit at 7 and here because this, this will be second adjust fire will uh, hit at 8, 9, 10. Let me exhaust him of course. And now we roll 7 or more. Nope, no luck. Uh, I will once again try here. 8 or more. No way. No way. It's it didn't it didn't happen. Uh, these were all our actions. That's a great pity. And uh, let's see what happens next. Still five turns. Okay, we have C. We place uh, MG C. Now we we have mortar. We have for the first time mortar. Uh, he will be firing at position two and at position two here. Okay, it might be some time to start using uh, this artillery. A mortar. Uh, we didn't have a mortar yet, and the way mortar works on the mortar card, you would have a place where it's firing, and you. Uh, sometimes have a couple of positions and you need to roll a die to check which position is being hit. Uh, sometimes, like in this case, you have this uh, this position. Damage means damage the vehicles. Disrupt, the symbol uh, next to damage, means if there is any uh, unit there, you will, you will be also checking his morale, uh, whether he will survive. We have only car at 2, yes, and this is pretty the weak car because it has defense of three so we roll one six sided die and if we roll three or more and we rolled it will be damaged so we flip it now when you we do the radio intelligence with this car we need a roll of six to be successful and to bring the intelligence here we still um, have a roll of five and six okay and one more assault so we place uh, the guys on the left flank here and we place whom uh, we place the grenadier mm -hmm. okay so we survived the turn what shall we do now pity to say i think it's time to use slape exhaust him and that allows us to unexhaust three units at his uh, place or next to him then we will bring one more artillery piece here okay those were pretty obvious to the left uh, we need to load the gun because the gun is not loaded uh, we can i think this is a minor action loading of the gun and yeah we load it here uh, would be good to have a possibility to un uh, unexhaust those guys and do it sooner than later so what we will do uh, we will uh, fire with a function yeah to d8 because both is here and 
it will be against this this enemy rifleman mm -hmm. to the eight okay we got him and now we'll move uh, Boke here so he can annex us here and here and on both sides and this will be all my moves you see unlike in previous games once you exhaust a commanding leader there is no way uh, to unexhaust him before the attack uh, phase finishes so you really need to, 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 to do it timely I think uh, we are uh, like through two thirds of the deck uh, or maybe not two thirds let's say more a little more than half of the deck so it's good time to start already uh, using them a German phase attack uh, we place leader at six so finally this part start, will start to move it's not that I'm glad but you see they are the most far away and we have those guys prepared for fire and now we go farther we place at one one would be here so another leader tries to move forward and one more card wow that's something i was afraid of um, position three is here and it seems that our artillery might not come uh, or it will be significantly uh, much more difficult uh, let's roll uh, d6 first for springer then for the car Springer may survive on the car. Also, that was quite unexpected. Uh, we rolled below their moral threshold, which means they they are okay. So if they are okay, I think uh, Springer will use major action of artillery and will try to call the folks. Uh, we roll three dice. And we need at least one uh, six. Yep, six or five, sorry. Uh, we got it. So three cards are used. Uh, I will not check what cards are here. Uh, what else shall we do? I'm still concerned about those MGs, you see. We will most probably win this attack period too there are only six cards left but those mgs are really something i'd rather get rid of so what i will do i will move the guy who can inspire here for the next turn to fire uh, here do we have anybody who can use the mg mg only this guy and he's exhausted let me see this one is normal okay so it will be time for Bog to use his command skills he will flip three guys uh, rather this here and now uh, we will probably shall we use a just fire it's always a pity to, to, to use this because we are using ammunition no no we will not use it yet mm -hmm. Uh, what we can do is simply try to fire at those approaching enemies uh, we will use Adams he rolls two dice 2d8 versus his four yep uh, we got this submachine gunner uh, we have one more action what would it be uh, a wild shot, a wild shot, why not? Uh, we'll use this guy, 2d8 uh, versus mg. I really would like to get rid of ms6 and 3, no, no way. Uh, and at the same time, preserve ammunition, we still have two turns, two attack periods to go, and as you can see, we are slowly but steadily depleting our ammunition and then we'll need to fight with uh, regular rifles okay last uh, no 
still six cards to go place or activate B B is here uh, we are lucky because we have only one guy so it might be that he will not hit anybody one three position three four six position four okay position four nobody okay uh, we place one rifleman here okay and then we go with a third card uh, SMG gunner okay let us roll six so here against this position they push forward okay so what I'm going to do it's again try to take down those uh, MGs mm, if not this turn maybe the next one um, I would use Milosevic but not using ammunition or maybe using ammunition now uh, I'd rather preserve it for the next turn or no let's let's fire let's do the just fire and let me try to take down two MGs the first fire would be against this MG the second fire against this MG this is uh, D D12 uh, firing here is through this border so this is eight or more we hit him yeah we have eight and here we have this is will be second uh, fire second ammunition used and this is to die eight or more also uh, this is nine yeah so we we got him uh, what else shall we do uh, we should probably move Kali here just in case we are getting here uh, yes, and we should start uh, trying to get rid of more of those MGs. So here we'll fire 2d8 against this uh, machine gun. Uh, 2d8 because we have still dustman with inspiration. 7 or 8. Yep. Very good turn. Very good. I like it. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, we can fire with uh, Dusman himself. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, against this MG. 7 or 8. 25%. Nope. Uh, the last action. The last action will be f uh, fire of this guy against this rifleman d8 five or more no okay that ends our turn we are still standing just like the song went and let's see what germans are have for us a rifleman plays one good now we place leader toward five to so here and they remove the barrier mm -hmm. and the last card would be place rifleman roll a die six and you see that means that they almost breached here I thought uh, they will uh, spring the bobby, tra bobby trap but no okay in our turn uh, what we can do is uh, we don't need to fire against those enemies here we should try to get rid of this uh, MG he has d8 he has d6 so uh, and no loss so uh, I will I will just do one action with this guy and we we'll roll uh, d8 nope that's a miss and that will be all because we'll be resetting uh, the 
enemy uh, tokens, those tokens. Uh, as you can see, uh, let's see what cards we have here. That's interesting. Uh, we had one more on this flank. Okay, so artillery really saved us. One more SMG. And one. So artillery actually helped us not to lose this uh, game. We had two more attacks on this flank, which would mean that they could really, really push forward. Uh, thank you very much for watching this demonstration. Uh, attack period 2, second part of Lanzaraf Reach playthrough. I hope you enjoy it. We'll be now moving uh, in the next uh, episode to the third phase. And believe me, a really nasty things will start to happen. First of all, we'll have a, a hidden uh, forward observer. Uh, there will be medics here and one of them will be forward observer and as long as this forward observer is not neutralized the mortars uh, which will have many more this time uh, will have uh, I think two dice when rolling so it will be really difficult uh, yeah, yeah, to be able to, to avoid their fire thank you uh, see you soon please if you like video give it thumbs up Please subscribe to the channel so you can be always up to date with the most fresh news and uh, videos. Thank you once again and bye for today.